All right, so Joe yeah, Budden has clapped back. Obviously, we already know last week we had a long discussion about Joe Budden going back and forth with Drake. Mm-hmm. But his album review, um, Drake clapped back in the comments, left us that nice paragraph. And the following episode pretty much drops uh, the same day that we were. Oh, it's Wednesday. It, really, Wednesday, yep. it comes out one day after our show comes out. So mm. when Joe Budden finally dropped his response to Drake's paragraph, he put it behind the paywall. On he put Patreon. it on all levels, though, in which the lowest level is $10. Five dollars. Five the lowest level is 5 Yeah. So um, the, a lot of people were upset about that because they thought Wednesdays are normally the free episode day. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And it's for not the public. The, for, for the public, the public for yeah. everybody, for the masses. But instead, he put it on the $5. Le- he put it on all levels. So you can be on the lowest level and get that episode, but you mm-hmm. did have to pay for that response. Exclusive, exclusivity, exclusivity is important. Yeah, yeah. Exclusivity. exclusivity, yeah. It's just, like, pivotal, you know what Yeah, I mean? and it's like... You gotta have that shit. Yeah, people being upset about that, I'm like, it's are a, it's you a brilliant fucking move. crazy? It's like, a brilliant move. how do you... Most anticipated podcast yeah. of Nigga, the fuck of the year, probably. That's you know what Michael what Jordan mm-hmm. been doing for years. Right. Nigga. Flip said that shit was being searched before it even came out. He was like, he, he was searching random Joe Budden shit and saw the niggas searching for the response before the yeah. shit even came out. He knew yeah. what he had. Yeah, Flip is mm-hmm. one of those people that uh, had an issue with it, actually. He did. He Danny, was talking about it on Danny, there. Uh, yeah, and Danny covered it. There's a link in there for it. Mm-hmm. Shout out Danny from the stop. Um, do you have a pull up? This ain't it. No, no, I'm pulling. Uh, I'm pulling all the links up at once. Oh yeah, but um, uh, but yeah. So that's what I do every time. I he uh, <laughs> he had an issue with it. So this is Drake's full response. I don't know if y'all got to see it. Mm. Uh, it was ten out of ten podcasting per usual. You know, when mm-hmm. you're the best at podcasting in hip hop. You know, <laughs> and you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> hip hop. Hip hop is an interesting qualifier you put on there. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, <laughs> yeah, right. this is this is Danny. Yeah, but that's not the wrong. That's not the right part. Okay. This is uh, go back to the other clip. You clicked it. That was the second clip. Never mind. Never mind. There's only four clips in here. Uh huh. Uh, it's definitely not that one. Yeah. But it is. Uh, it is cool though. Joe and Drake. Oh yeah, bro. But Battle Flip bringing that shit up on the show, bro. I was like. This nigga doesn't understand business. That's what I'm realizing. Uh, these last couple months of him complaining about contracts and talking about contracts, mm. then for you to get on the next show and, ex- first of all, be upset that he did it without consulting you? <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? Yeah, he <laughs> what the fuck have. are we talking about? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, Which is the greater point. I, th- I don't think he understands business that doesn't profit him. Right, and then another thing directly is directly associated. He pretty much alluded to the fact that they should get some sort of pay raise because they yeah, put that like big episode behind the um, because they put that big episode behind the thing, and it's like oh, now he's just making shit up. Yeah, it's like yeah. and 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 um, Melissa Ford also kind of hinted to that too. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. It's like no, that doesn't like if Ice wasn't there to just be like if your contract doesn't say that, what are we talking about? Yeah. Like mm, yeah. what the fuck are y'all talking about? So when the numbers tank, everybody gets lower paychecks. Right. Like yeah. no, it's nigga, weird. we get paid when we get paid. You know what I'm saying? How much do they pay Melissa Ford to not say shit? <laughs> mm-hmm. She's talking more in the past couple episodes, but for the most part, she don't say shit. You're right. She's getting a hell of a bag for having titties. Mm-hmm. I mean, shit. She dressed nice too, I guess. Like, imagine she got a, a reduction in pay. If she started wearing less slutty again. That's probably in her contract, knowing Joe. What are y'all talking about? The fact that she has a salary <laughs> to be on a podcast where she doesn't really talk. Right. But what does that have to do with her titties and appearance? We're just making a joke that it's probably in her the, contract that she has to look the sexy. The only valuable fucking she don't even asset be, she's she don't providing. be out there like, <clears throat> she don't be out there crazy sexy. She dresses Not crazy like a, sexy, but sexy she, enough. She dresses like a teacher. I, Every time I see you, I like, always see a uh, uh, resemblance of body. What type of teacher? <laughs> yeah, there's naughty what, ones. What class? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to say Probably much. language arts. Mm-hmm. Sex yeah. ed? Nah, nigga, she's a substitute. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Her outfits don't see... I don't go to the podcast and immediately see cleavage. I almost, there's a few of them. Every I almost then. always see them Every covered now. up. Like, not, that's maybe the only ones I, I be see seeing. those. I, maybe Every I must only see those. That's what I... Because I, I see enough to be satisfied. I feel like she dresses modest all the time. One out of three, she dresses with something a little more. But 
Two out of three, she's not. She's modest. And modest as hell. Yeah. Like so, thirty three percent of the time you're getting titties. Yeah, yeah, thirty three percent of the time. Pretty you're low. Yeah. But the only time I'm checking is the only time I'm seeing them. So I'm only seeing the thirty three percent, which is <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> which is why she gets paid to not speak. We just figured it out. It's crazy. I don't think it's that. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So Danny was also taking shots in this video. Uh-huh. Go to the. This is the one that says Danny wants smoke. Hmm. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this nigga started taking shots at somebody a part of that Joe Budden cast. I don't know who it was. God damn it. Nigga, Danny be on bullshit recently. Danny and Chicks was on bullshit this last week. Don't worry. <laughs> I saw I said, damn, what's, what's gotten into these niggas? Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Getting a little aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's up with these niggas? Like, they they, both, they both had moments in their videos when I was like, I've never heard just before. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody mama need a Christmas present, nigga. <laughs> right, Everybody's right. getting hungry, nigga. Yeah, it's time, to get, it's time to get the numbers it's up, nigga. It's a cold winter, nigga. Hell October yeah. getting colder. Yeah, Shit. bro. But yeah, let's go ahead and listen to this. God, you know what? Shout out to Drake, man. This is a tangent, and I know y'all gonna be angry. Like, what are you talking about, Danny? When I was on the Discord with Rory, right, he was like, Danny, they think you corny. The the pod thinks you corny. The Joe Budden pod thinks you people on that side think you're corny. And then Flip was like, yo, yo, everybody in the pod thinks you corny. Well, people, Drake thinks y'all corny. How you like that? You pass judgment on corniness. What made you the arbiter of corniness? Ish ice calling me corny? And don't let me think it was Corey, because I heard you on that Patreon episode. You are a terrible co-host. I wanted them to give you a mic, but when you got a mic, you was trash, homie. You made Ice look like Joe Rogan, dog. Stay off the mic. Matter of fact, this should the mic should have a restraining order on you, buddy. Don't get don't get close to the mic again. You was introing topics terribly. Corny Corey. Yeah, I've been holding that in. I heard what you said in the background. <laughs> I heard what you said on improper improv. I heard that. No wonder you're not the manager. No, you know, I'm getting too crazy. I'm getting too crazy. Corey, I love you, man. I don't want no problem. I know you be doing um sit-ups and push-ups on your lunch break. <laughs> uh, shout out to you. Keep doing your thing. Handle Joe's business. That was a random tangent. I just I just felt I, I had to I had to address that. About so Moving just, further along, Joe right, yeah. also says Nigga, Joe, he smacked the, he smacked his own ass in the middle of his <laughs> brain. He was like, I've been I'm bad. Apologize. This nigga, good guy. Oh, bro, this nigga is hilarious, bro. But say, but, say he made Ice look like Joe Bu- uh, Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan is fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's that's he was that's cooking that's though yeah. because it's just like yo when he be going on like when he did that. Mind you, I'm just I'm riding down the street. You know, just mm. hearing a regular Danny video. Then uh, all of a sudden, he's sitting there. Once I heard the, you know what? I said, oh, yeah. shit. He about to go crazy. He's about to break character. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. Yo, uh, fuck with Danny, man. Shout out to Danny, dog. Um, but what else man. happened from this? Oh, yeah. Let's cover these niggas um, bare minimum. 